Get it. What's going on, guys? Let me take a sip. By the way, peep the Tintin slash Captain Haddock. I'm not going crazy. Hibiscus tea, you know, very kind of calm, zen vibes. I remember like my old videos practically yelling. I don't know, now more, more of a zen slash calming aura when you watch these videos. I'm not like tired or anything like that, uh, but I just, just chill. Just calm energy, calm vibes. Let's get it. What's going on guys, Ray here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing great. And today we are back with another one. This is gonna be pickups. I'm super excited to get into this because we have such a good amount of items. I'm really stoked about the stuff that I picked up during the past three months. We have a really good variety of things. I'm very happy about it. I don't know why I'm saying this again, but yeah, I'm just really stoked about all the items I picked up. Right before we get into this, I just wanted to say that this video is in partnership with Farfetch. This is the third time love farfetch and you know it's really hard for me to do these sponsored videos just because a lot of the companies and brands i don't really align myself with farfetch is a company that i've been using even before the sponsorships buying a ton from them so it's really easy for me to recommend them to you guys and quickly if you guys don't know about farfetch they are pretty much a online marketplace that acts like a middleman which connects you to various companies and brands all around the world there is a ton when i say a ton i mean like hundreds of brands that are available on the website that you can go through and you know one thing that i can kind of say like as a personal story is that i was able to scoop the rick owens vans which i'm going to show in this video i was able to get that via farfetch wish list slash kind of remind me type of thing and uh, i got a ping notification that the item was in stock via farfetch got it and they are here so if there's anything that you guys want to purchase on farfetch definitely use my code rate 10 that takes 10% off your existing order. Uh, so have fun, do all that. All that to say, let's get into the video. Let's go. All right, so let's begin. First of all, let's start with what's on my neck. Right here we have the Homer pendant and the color, it's like a Kelly green with pink and orange. Not sure the exact name of this exact uh, necklace, but right here, so the backing is 925 silver and the front has a beautiful color and also just want to show you guys the packaging this is called the plus pendant and it pretty much has the same exact packaging as the sphere necklace that i showed you guys in a couple videos way back I'm like trying to do like the beauty guru thing uh so here you guys can see that same way you open it, it just turns around and then there's like the qr code here and your necklace stays right here so overall i'm just a big fan of what frank ocean is doing at homer i love all the collections he dropped so far creatively i love what he's doing at homer and i cannot wait to see what the future holds for the brand but this is the piece i got i have the sphere chain those two are like the ones that i really really wanted and um yeah super stoked to get them so for the next item right here we have a six panel cap from balenciaga as you guys can see, this is their sport logo, if I'm not mistaken. I know every season they have a few logos that they implement, and this is one of them. The detail that I really love about this hat would just have to be this intricate kind of ridge going on on both sides of the hat. The shape goes for this hat. This is more of your quote unquote dad hat. So the hat that I'm wearing here is reminiscent to like a vintage like starter cap, the fit on it is a little bit different. So this one has much more of a lower profile and a longer brim. So it took me a while to just get adjusted as I've been used to wearing pretty much these hats for the long run. It gives me a very like an incognito type of look. Normally I just put a hoodie, got this hat, you know, just kind of keep it pushing that way. Really enjoying this hat. And the back is a hazard strap too special here before we move on to the next item let me just show you guys the box that the hat came in it's very extra for this product but here you go so it has like paper all that and it just came like in a very intricate and it also did have its own dust bag uh, so that's very interesting but yeah this is the Balenciaga six panel sport cap really like how it looks this is something that i've been wearing quite a ton ever since i got it a few weeks ago and pretty much will wear it throughout the summer slash fall winter 
and going on forward. So here we go. Right here, we have a Givenchy Cheeto International collaboration hoodie. I'm not really too big onto Givenchy, but this print was something that really piqued my interest. So I was luckily able to grab these on clearance, which, you know, kind of helped me do the purchase. I just love the way it looks. It has like a spray painted graffiti vibe. Image right here is Cheetos, I guess, more popular designs. He has a bunch of dogs and uh, things like that. Here on the back, there is the kind of Givenchy mask, little character going on. So for size reference, this one is a size small. So it fits extremely oversized. I would say it fits more of like a large to XL. If you guys are looking to get this, make sure to go down, 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 down. That there's like little Givenchy details here, thing on the uh, strings of the hoodie. I particularly like the wash on it. It has like a greenish gray tint to it. I'm not sure if it translates perfectly on camera, but the wash is very interesting. And you guys can see it in the B-roll. Very, very oversized, but nonetheless, a very interesting and cool hoodie to have. Continuing on to our next item, right here we have a denim trucker jacket from Kenzo. So this is Amigo's first endeavor with Kenzo. It wasn't even like the first collection, it was like a limited edition capsule kind of leading up to the collection, which was called I think the Poppy Flower. So I just love this jacket as a layering piece. So I've been wearing this quite a lot during the spring season and you know, leading on to the summer as well. I feel like it's the perfect piece if you have a you know more simplistic outfit and you want like a tiny hit of graphic or you know little detail whatsoever this material is very good quality the craftsmanship on the piece is top notch no little stitching errors whatsoever when it comes to this jacket so me owning this piece was very special as you know nigo is somebody that really got me into fashion i idolize him i've been studying and looking at his work ever since the bait days and seeing him at kenzo was was really a special moment for me so i wanted to kind of have that memory so i decided to get this piece and it's just a beautiful jacket um, i don't think i'll ever get rid of it just because it holds so much value to me i'm not in love with the entire collection but i've been really eyeing those boots and derbies with the steel toes so whenever those drop i hopefully uh, can get my hands on those all right so i think we're pretty much done with tops let's start with bottoms so for our first pair of jeans here we have the paneled denim from Our Legacy. Our Legacy has been a brand that's been slowly kind of piquing my interest. You know, I've been loving their collections, looking at their lookbooks and just the way that they present everything. I feel like for me, the first time I really noticed Our Legacy was the countless Stussy collaborations they do. So kind of delving into their mainline garments, I really enjoy this denim. Firstly, just because of the wash, it has a beautiful, a vintage wash and the material feels like it's been you know lived in it doesn't have the really stiff feeling to it. it has a nice soft very cozy almost feeling like a sweat pad i don't know how to explain this but you know when you have a pair of denims that you've been using for years and just really putting it through the motion it almost starts to feel like second skin and this is exactly how i feel about these pants here you guys can see the middle panel a little contrast of the washes so besides that detail, that's pretty much what's going on with these pants. And I would say these fit more like a straight leg. Has a bit of a more baggier fit to it, which I love. Pairs beautifully with high top boots. And uh, yeah, just overall a beautiful piece from Art Legacy. Really looking forward to this brand as there's a lot of things that have been piquing my interest, uh, which I'll definitely look into uh, during the fall winter season. Continuing on to our next piece, this is an item that I had so many questions about. These denims are from the brand Anderson Bell. I know they recently released a ASICS collaboration, which look pretty cool. And this is their workers denim with this beautiful green wash. It has the properties of a double knee carpenter pant, just being in this green denim. So one detail that I really love about these pants is the fact that it has this kind of integrated belt. You can actually take this off, but you know, for the purpose of the pad, I like to keep it on. And if you really want it so you can kind of leave this part hang, which I do sometimes. Another detail that I love is the fact that the double knees are not at the same location. So on this side, you can see that slightly lower versus here, 
it's all the way to the top and just kind of gives a very interesting silhouette and look to the pant. And turning the pants over, you can see the traditional workwear pockets, hammer loop, as well as the side pockets. So this overall is a really, really great piece. I was able to get this for a really good deal. I know they have a couple pairs of the red ones and the black ones on Farfetch, which are actually discounted right now. So if you guys are interested in getting this, check out Farfetch. I think they still have sizes. Beautiful piece. All right, so continuing on to our next item right here, we have a pair of trousers from Kiko Konstantinov. So quickly talking about materials, this is like a viscose cotton blend. It has some polyester details to it. When it comes down to Kiko, this is my very first clothing item and I'm quite satisfied with how these look. So you know his cuts are very intricate. I love the asymmetrical work when it comes to just cutting a uh, you know, classic pair of pants. Other details include waist adjuster. So when it comes down to sizing, I would say this has a pretty straight to slim fit to it. And uh, once again, I would say this is perfect for uh, your more formal events when it's kind of like a formal slash casual uh, thing going on. And this is like the perfect pants for me when it comes down to, you know, going to soirees. I feel like I just come with ripped denim and like t-shirts and not really caring about you know how i present myself owning this kind of gives me a little bit more of a formal edge your classic pant and kiko just nails all the details all right so for our very last bottom and i've been wearing these quite a lot and i did i think show them in the past vlog these are the oversized distressed denim from balenciaga these have been my go-to pants ever since i picked them up i wear them all the time they're abnormally large. You can see just the way the proportions are. And I think for a lot of the Balenciaga garments, they are comically big. I really, really like the way these fit. And when you pair these pants, something a little bit more form-fitting on the top. I just love the kind of silhouette that it gives altogether. Over details, this is a Japanese denim. Looking at the weight, they don't really talk about it online, but I would say this is not too, too heavy. It's more of like your light to mid weight. Yeah, it has these um, kind of tabs here to adjust the waist once again. And in terms of sizing, I'm telling you guys, these fit extremely big. I got a size small, so I'm like a 32, 33 and this i believe is the smallest size these are super super long you guys will see it in the b-roll footage that just how exaggerated uh these are even with boots sometimes these slightly drag but i guess that's the look because there is these kind of distressings on the bottom of the pad but just heads up if you guys are looking to purchase this pair not made for smaller waists and uh, shorter people, you know, short kings out there. Been using them a lot just with black t-shirts. That's like my go-to fit for the summer. Really cool piece from Balenciaga. I'm really enjoying just the really weird out there pieces. Push myself um, in terms of just like kind of sticking out a little bit. Trying to look too outlandish, but almost in a way where it's like, okay, he looks different, but he doesn't look weird. That's for the Tops, bottoms, accessories. Let's quickly talk about footwear as we have four pairs of, of shoes that I quickly want to talk about. All right, guys, so starting off the video with footwear, let's begin with something I did show in a few vlogs ago. Uh, here are the Margiela staple derbies with the square toe. First, I guess, square toe shoe. And I've really been enjoying just the look of square toes in general for the past couple of months or so. These were my go-tos. First and foremost, you know, it's your classic derby shape. It does have this kind of Clark's Wallaby type of uh, front toe box detail here. And as the name implies, it has these cool little staple details here and on the inner the shoe as well so these staples don't really affect the shoe whatsoever i think it's just more of a stylistic choice so other details would include the margella numbers on the back and uh, yeah besides that it's a very simple derby i just really love the way that the toe kind of expands a little bit and has the square toe property i've been wearing these a lot mixed with like the baggier pants 
Continuing on to our next pair, right here we have the Wessex Sabo Loafer from Kiko Konstantinov. These are pretty much the same design as the Harkman shoe that he dropped, I think a couple years back. This is obviously the mule slash loafer version of them. First and foremost, color, it's like a nice brown, really dark, deep brown color. This is something that I don't really have in my closet at the moment as 90% of my shoes that I have are black. So this breaks it up ever so slightly, even though it's naturally very dark. It does feature the Vibram outsole, so it's perfect for just, you know, all-terrain work. And it's very easy as, you know, the summertime, people are lazy, including myself. I don't wanna take my time to tie shoes. So this goes back to the very elementary way of putting on your shoes where you just kind of strap it in and slip your foot in. One thing I would say is that these ones fit so much better than the Harkman shoes. This I stuck to a size 43 and it fits exactly true to size. This is just a very neat sneaker. They even have the pink version, which I'm not a fan of pink, but for some reason those shoes are beautiful. It does have the interesting line work that Kiko is known for. Uh, so you guys have that and beautiful beautiful cool looking shoe all right so for our next piece this is what i was talking about in the intro the rick owens vans super stoked to get these as they have pretty much been sold out everywhere itching to wear these i wanted to get these on video first but these are the rick owens vans so the exact name of the sneaker is called the vintage sneakers so we're just gonna call these the vans the og pairs go for thousands on the aftermarket not the one that's going to be buying that pleasantly surprised to finally get these in hand in my size 43 so i'm super super stoked to wear these i really want to wear these out and get them to the point where they look like the ogs if that's even a thing it's gonna probably take me a couple years but you know what we're up for the challenge Really cool, easy shoe to wear. Comparisons of a Vans are true. This looks exactly like a high quality version of the Vans and I'm super, super stoked to be wearing these. Again, we got the Farfetch. You know, Farfetch really hooked it up on this one. A couple of my peers were able to get these. I think I saw Oscar's video where he did the unboxing and I know Giz and JC have the shoe. So it's a really, really cool shoe. Right after this video, I'm gonna finally start undeguessing these, but here we are, super stoked, honestly. Continuing on to our next article of footwear, this might be a little jarring to you guys, maybe a bit weird, uh, but this is something that I was really keen on getting. And right here we have the Tyrex sneaker by Balenciaga. So I think these dropped back in 2018 and I was on the hunt ever since. Couldn't really find my size until a couple of months ago. And uh, just really briefly talking about this shoe, the main inspiration for the sneaker was the human body with the webbed muscles. So as you guys can see, if you guys look at the human body whatsoever, kind of the muscle structure. So this shoe pretty much emulates that. The toe cap right here has this 3M Tyrex logo. Really am keen on these weird shapes and out of the world kind of looking garments. I don't know, this is something that I've been really experimenting with and a lot of the new stuff we're doing with Ore are very not conventional looking. So once you see the things that I wear, you can kind of see the inspo for the upcoming collections. Yeah, this is just such a beautiful piece. I don't really see too many people talking about these. These are one of my favorite shoes that Balenciaga ever released and just once again, all black. You know, keep it subtle even though it's really weird. I love, love, love these. All right, so for the very last item of today's video, right here we have the Leather Trooper Boots by Balenciaga. Leave one of the shoe down because these are extremely heavy. But, you know, quickly going back, I did have initially Trooper Derby, but I found those to be very unpractical and just very uncomfortable. And, uh, you know, I couldn't really wear them the entire day. Just really hurt my feet. So I'm the type of person that I won't wear a shoe if it's uncomfortable even though the design is neat. Decided to let those go and just got these as the replacements. So when it comes down to the design, uh, this has a full calfskin leather upper. It does have almost like a Chelsea boot type of look to it, but I really don't mind it because I wear pretty baggy pants over. Has a really thick tractor outsole 
which will serve me well walking these New York streets. And yeah, just overall a beautiful boot. These will be worn heavily just because they are much more comfortable than the rubber boots. The square toe, once again, is something that I've really been into and I really wanna explore that avenue of footwear. Uh, so I've been testing out a lot of these square toe boots and seeing how much I like these. All right, so this is the end of the video. If you guys have any questions or observations, let me know in the comments down below. Follow your boy on Instagram at RayGMia. I don't really post too much on Instagram. If you guys wanna keep up with you know updates and stuff like that, you can follow me on Instagram. Haven't really been active on TikTok, but I'll post whenever I post, I guess. TikTok is the same name as Instagram. And besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. We have a vlog coming up next week which I've been filming for the past maybe two weeks. Uh, so that will be coming next. And after that, I have a kind of friends brand showcase that I really wanted to do. I've been talking about this for a while now, but you know, a lot of my friends and my peers have their own respective brands. And I wanted to dedicate a video solely on kind of showing off their things and you know, kind of presenting it to you guys. So all that will come afterwards. Before I get out of here, once again, shout out to Farfetch for sponsoring this video. My code, once again, will be Ray10, nets you 10% off. Use it, enjoy. Anyways, I'm out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Gotta edit this video. See you guys next time.